you are watching. Got a chance to hunt this old house right here, so we're gonna hit this big old field, kind of see what it's about. We've been finding wheat pennies left and right. There's a bunch of good oldies around here. And I just popped a 1917 weedy up. I dug one about a foot away from this one just a few minutes ago. Turn around, hit this signal, put the plug back over. It was getting a screaming 81. And as soon as I flipped the plug, you see that guy right there? Gonna be a Merc. It's gonna be an old one because it's laying in there with a 1917 Weedy. We're gonna spray it off, see what we got. All right, we're gonna spray it off, see what we got. Well, my spray will work. Well, we're gonna pour some water on it because my spray bottle's not working too well. Ain't that crazy? I think it's gonna be a 1917 as well. Sure is. So I dug three 1917 coins in a row. 1917 Weedy hanging out with a 1917 Merc. Let's hope we can get on some oldies out here. Used to be a dentist office right where we're at. Sitting right at the end of the sidewalk. Yeah, looks like somebody lost their silver. We're gonna keep rolling. All right, guys, just getting dug that Merc and a couple Wheaties right there. Getting a 64 signal. Just popped up this guy. I got myself a token. Looks like it's got an address right there. Might be the dentist token. We'll get her cleaned up. See what we got. Be right back. Well, there she is. This is good for five cents in trade. And on the back, it's looks like it's got its address two zero zero eight one. A little bow at the bottom. Not sure what store it went to, but that is cool. I love a good trade token. Awesome. This place is good. We're gonna keep rolling. Ryan's right there digging. Let you know if we get anything good. Well, I knew there had to be one out here. Getting a uh, kind of a high tone. It was uh, bouncing from mid to high. I don't know if you can see that guy poking through. That's going to be an Indian right there. Try to get her cleaned up before it fades out on me. Let me get her cleaned up real fast, get a date off of it. We'll be right back. There she is. It's like an 1887, a little toasty. Bouncing, real choppy signal, but a lot of them Indians are. They even got up in the 77s at one point. But I'll take that. Put me an 1800s club for the day. This place is turning out to be pretty darn good. And we can come back again, so. We're gonna keep working, see if we can dig some more today. We're on to the next. Alright, here's some trash we've been digging all day. We've dumped our pouches about six times. So we're all over the place, but a lot of signals in the in the back of the old truck. What do you got? That's probably a Merc. You got you a Merc, huh? You sure did get you a Merc. How deep was that one? Uh five, four. Four to five inches? Heck yeah. It's kind of smooth, but on the back. She's slick. She ain't too slick on the front, though. The 41. We'll get her cleaned up. We just 
spray it off real fast. You know, pretty clean. Should be shining. 1941. I don't see a mint. Cool. Another silver out of the shard. In the backyard right now. I'm gonna keep playing. Nice dig. Thank you. Pop. All right, guys. Just dug a big old plug. And I had to dig a big old plug because I was getting 86, 88. And it was ringing pretty big because of that big guy. And it's looking pretty good. A little thin, but it feels good. I banged it hard right there. I'm just using my hand digger because I forgot my shovel at the house, so that was a good plug to dig. I scraped it. It does have uh, some marking right there. It doesn't say anything about Oberdorfer. No, Oberdorfer. Oh my gosh, it is sterling. <laughs> That's the biggest sterling spoon I've ever dug in my life. Right there, guys. WNH sterling. Let me put this in my hand to show you how big this thing is. Look at that. Man, I wish I didn't kiss it, but that would have been a hard one not to kiss. Oh my gosh. Let me get it cleaned up. We'll be right back. Well, guys, there's no doubt about that one. No doubt about that one. Look at that. You flipped right. W and H Sterling L Oberdorfer. Oberdorfer. I don't know how to say that. Man, I wish I didn't kiss it. That would have been a hard one not to. Look at this. Show you how big it is compared to my NEL Storm Coil right there. I mean, that thing is the size of a femur bone. That's so awesome. My biggest sterling spoon by far. Alright guys, still digging some goodies out here. Let's pop this something I ain't popped up in a while. Digging this little plug right here I haven't got the target yet but out spit out this little guy rolled out of the hole pretty good size breaker marble looks like it's had some action that's greeny definitely been played with very cool let's see if there's anything in the hole all right Zach just got on one I think it's a first for him pretty cool find an old straight razor. Got a lot of detail in it. That's pretty cool. I get in the light. Pretty neat. We're digging a bunch of randoms right now. I think we're kind of in the area where the houses were demoed a little bit, so we're finding a bunch of random stuff. But we're gonna keep swinging. Cool, brother. Thank you. Guys, we're out in the middle of nowhere. We are on a big old house. Three story with a basement. We just kind of started. Ryan's digging a hole right here. This place is kind of overgrown. Still a beautiful place. It's kind of the front end's been kind of overgrown. There's buildings everywhere. It's got a huge property. Just kind of secluded out of nowhere. Ryan just called me over. Dug a hole right here. Um, rubbed the back a second ago and I saw the buff hanging out. There's a buffalo nickel. Been here for about five minutes. I'm digging a lot of little tiny itty bitty nails, but there's a good old buffalo. Looks like a 1913. That hmm. no, couldn't be a 19. Let's see here. Let's figure out what year this is. It's a 1919. That is cool. First good target. Nice. Thank you. Heck yeah, let's get on it. All 
up by an old one right here. I just barely scraped the ground, just kind of finding, we've been all over this property. We're way up in the front now. The house is way back there in the corner. And I'm right up by the road, up by this old tree. Let's pop that guy up. She's sitting in the clump. Let me get my water out, we'll get her cleaned up. Be right back. All right, she was ringing kind of high. Let's see what she's ringing out of the ground. Ringing about 72. So we're gonna see what we got. Pop her first. I think it's gonna be silver, I'm hoping. She feels like, it feels pretty heavy. She's looking good. Let me get some spray on it real fast. It's gonna be a pretty ring. pretty ring guys she is heavy and it's gonna be an oldie I think definitely an older ring can't believe the stone's still in it there's Mark Sterling I don't know if you can see that or not get her upside down see if I can get her there you go wow it's so heavy for a silver ring it's, it feels good He's ringing about a 72, clean as a whistle. That's awesome. Nice old sterling ring. I'll snap a picture in. We're gonna keep swinging. All right guys, we're at a new spot. Ryan brought me out and he's already dug a murk up. And we've dug a few weedies. That's got a good nickel tone with a little chirp in it. What? I'm pretty sure it came out from pretty deep. It was about right in that area. I'm pretty sure I got a V nickel. I can see <coughs> matron on there. Let's hope it's thin. I'm gonna get it cleaned up. See what we got. All right, guys, you're not gonna be able to see it well on this camera, but there's the matron facing left. There's some stars going around the top. It is a V nickel. <laughs> But, I don't know if I'm going to get a date on it. I'll have to get her cleaned up at the house. If I can, I'll slap a picture of it in. But it's pretty smooth. We're going to see what we can dig up. Alright guys, I dug up V-Nickel literally just right there. I've been working some iron out of this little spot. Ryan found a couple coins right in this area too. And I just popped up another good deep one. It was back in this corner. I kind of missed it. It was right here, but it was given a good Like low 60s right in here And since I just found a v-nickel, you know, I'm gonna dig that but Still in the clump and I'm pretty sure I see an Indian head I'm gonna pop it loose see what we got Oh, yeah, there's the one sin on the back nice and green And I can see the Indian coming through. It is a 1904. Still an Indian. And it was right beside where that vehicle was. So, Pretty cool. We're going to keep swinging and see what we can get. I don't think there's anything on it. But it is a nice, clean little button. Definitely an Odie. Shank's still attached, a little flattened, but still there. Low mid-tones, that's why you dig it out right there. Right beside all that, the uh, V-nickel and the Indian come from right in this little spot. Snag me a button. We'll keep rolling. <laughs> 